Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to replace null values uh, with unknown in select statement in SQL Server. Or we are going to learn the difference between is null and coalesce function. So let's open SSMS and connect to the SQL Server instance. And then uh, you will be going to the database uh, where your table or view and other objects are. So in my case, I'm going to use the Tech Brothers IT database. I would like to create a new table called DBO customer. So I have a create table statement here. Let's run that. Now the table is created. We can go and take a look on our table. Refresh and we see that DBO customer. It has three columns ID, name and address. Pay attention to the name. We have varchar 10. That's the data type for our name column. So that's what we are going to use. Let's insert three records. So I'm inserting value uh, for id1 amir and xy address then uh, here the second record and i'm uh, inserting null in the address and here i'm inserting null in the name column so execute now let's uh, ex run the select statement to, to take a look on our data db customer we should have one record uh, here that has null values in the name and we have same in the address we are going to ignore this column we are going to play with the name column so now think about that if we are asked to replace the null values with the unknown so somebody say okay when you select the data you want to replace with the unknown maybe and uh, not applicable or something or na so that's where you need to replace this nulls with those strings okay here is the query that we can use them. We can say select ID and then use the is null function and then provide the column name. So our, our column name is name. And then we have to tell like, okay, we want to replace to what? So we, if the value is null, then what we would like to do, we would like to replace with unknown. So that's what we'd like to have. And then we are saying as name by is null. So this is the value generated by this part. Okay. Next, uh, we can use the coalesce function that also do the same type of thing, but it can accept uh, multiple parameters. So let's see here, we have name, then we have unknown. Here we can put another column as well. Let's say address. What will happen? The coalesce will take the first non-null value. So let's say if this is the first no uh, value, uh, in our case, it's, it's not going to be because we have null value here, but other columns will have this value so it is going to take uh, the first non null value and return from these three uh, columns or parameters whatever you call so here we have using columns and but here we are using hard code so any first non null value will be returned so it will start from the name then go to the next column or the value then go to the next so right now i'm not interested uh, to play with multiple columns I'm only interested when you have null value in the name I want to replace with the unknown there is a, a, another big difference uh, with the is null function and coalesce I'm gonna explain that in very detail so uh, let's take a look first on the uh, this select query and results and then we will go to the next level so you see that uh, here name uh, by is null so you see that it is converted to the unknown uh, that's where this part is playing role. So it it found there was a null uh, name. Let me also instead of ID, I would like to have name so you can see uh, everything together. Okay. So you see that this name was null, and we use the is null right here. So it converted to the unknown. The same way we use the coalesce, and uh, it found the null right here, and then converted to the unknown. Now let's uh, consider i don't want just the unknown i want to say unknown name so what happened then now we will see the output uh, and see if we get the same output uh, and here you notice that uh, we did not get the complete uh, unknown name we got unknown na so it was uh, is null uh, when we are using here it found the null then it tried to replace with this string uh, but it only took uh, this part. Why? Because uh, the is null function select the data type of the first column. So you see that uh, the name column has a uh, data type watcher 10 and these are the 10 characters. So it was able to only accommodate uh, only 10 characters uh, 
from the second string. So it try to convert, but it will use the data type of the first column. Now on the other side, when we use the coalesce function, it will use the data type of with the high precedence. So think about that. This name column has varchar 10, but this static value has varchar 12. So th this this takes the precedence. Say okay, this is higher data type. So that's why Coles is able to put uh, this whole thing, uh, and is well uh, is null was not able to show us uh, the complete unknown name. I would like to take uh, this further and show you more example with the Coles. When I say what uh, uh, higher presence or rank of the data type, what does that mean? Now few things we need to go uh, take a look. Let me go and I did uh, research. I said the data type presence. What does that mean? So when an operator combines two expressions of different data types, the rules for the data type presence specify that the data type with the lower presence is converted to the data type with the higher presence. In this case, we see that our data type was watcher 10 here in the name and then this was bigger data type uh, so it was watcher 12 so that's why our name that that was converted to the higher that's why it happened with the coalesce function it take uh, the data type of uh, higher presidents uh, okay now let's go back and see the presidents what presidents are here is the list of that ranks uh, or presidents uh, you can see that user defined data types are the highest then sql variant xml and date time offset date time 2 and the, the, there is a, a whole lot list so you can take a look but from here you want to understand now if i would like to understand totally let's say i'm totally ignorant about the uh, this president's like okay date time 2 date time um, which one uh, this is okay this is a higher president so this is a higher rank and this is a lower rank but how this do you, really does this work or coalesce does return that so i want to understand that so let's go back here. Now you see that I have select coalesce. So you see I have date here and I have get date. So if I will just run the get date, if you see here, I'm getting see, uh, sorry, 2016, 8, 10, and I have it's 8 p.m. and 38, and then I have minutes and I have seconds. So let's go back and compare. Here I have date and time. So now you see that till here see this is the date time so get date is returning us the date time now go back here so date time has a higher presence or rank than the date so these are the two ones we are using this one so let me take you back here this one is just simple date okay that has the presence or ranking eight and this has six so it is going to select the data type of a higher presence uh, that is the six uh, let's let me retake you one, one more time so you see right here this is a date time that has higher rank uh, and the date is on eight uh, so if we use the date uh, and with the coalesce function we know that is going to take the first non null value so this is the not 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 uh, non null value that is going to take it but it will show with the higher presence uh, data type uh, so that is the uh, date time in our case because we are using get date here that's the column we are using uh, or value we are using that's why it is going to take this data type let's execute and you will see it is not returning us this because coalesce returns us the first non-null value so it is returning us that but converting to the higher data type um, uh, here that's the date time too so you see that um, this is how coalesce work first non null value and uh, if uh, the other one has the better data type or high rank data type it is going to convert to that data type now let's go further say select coalesce we have null and then we have see here i have date time and then i'm using system day assist date time that is the even date time too so let me go here i have date time right here that i i already pasted and the, I have date time too. So this one is going to return me the date time too. And this part is the date time. So you see that this is a, the presidents was five. 
here for the date time 2 that's high precedence and date time is 6 so if I will return as we know that coalesce is going to return the first non-null value that is the this is the value but is this this is a date timer but it is going to select the data type of a higher uh, uh, pre, uh, pre, pre, it is going to use the data type of higher column or the value what we have provided so here it is going to convert to the date timer too so let's run this one and now you can see that it took this value and then added zero to it so because this part is returning the data to the seconds level but the sys date time returns the data to the nanosecond levels so this is this is where uh, we see that the date time 2 is higher ranked or presidents than date time so you can see right here okay great let's if I you want to run this one and just uh, see like okay this what this returns or what this uh, returns so system day sys, uh, get date or sys date time so we can see that here so this is date time and you see that it goes to second levels and this is date time 2 that goes to the nanosecond level so if uh, you are not a worry let's say you, your columns uh, uh, are uh, the, the, these uh, replace values are very short and they are less than the uh, actual data type of your column you are fine to use the is null function so let's say if I, I was doing just the unknown and that fits in worker 10 I don't have to worry but uh, if uh, I am using uh, another long, lengthy string uh, and uh, is null is gonna chop that or cut that or eliminate because it is going to select the data type of the first column so whatever you will value you will provide is not gonna show you it is going to use the data type of the first column if the value is really big and doesn't fit in this column data type so uh, to be straightforward my recommendation goes for coalesce because it's work much better and but still like you need to understand the both things with the is null we have a problem it uh, use the data type of the first column and if we have a bigger value that doesn't fit here it will chop and with the coalesce uh, it is going to convert your value to the higher precedence uh, data type uh, in the column list whatever you have here so let's say you have three columns and which one is has the higher precedence uh, and uh, that's where it is going to take that uh, data type so thanks very much and you learn how to use the is null and coalesce function in sql server and i will see you guys in next video